Advanced pattern number two really gets interesting. Okay, so let's take a deep dive. First thing we always do is look at our rhythm structure, which is a 4-4. Four, four. Remember, we cross this out. We're going to be working with four beats. All right, so now let's count how many notes we have in this um, finger picking pattern. We've got this, this note and this note over here are played at the same time. And this note and this note are played at the same time. Okay? Remember, we always move that way. Now, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh oh. Fourteen divided by by four, not that great of a number. So something's happening here. So let's see what's happening. So the the first thing I would recommend is hear this, but we're not we're not hearing it yet, so let's work it out. So if I divide my bar into half, let's say, more or less, right? That's half more or less. So I have, now I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just missing one to complete the eight. So somewhere in here, there's a, there's a one that I'm not playing, right? So it's, if I divide again into, into four, okay, just like that, I'm trying to divide into eight equal parts, just so that, 8 divided by 4 is 16, right? So right here, I can see I'm missing one here, and I'm missing one here. So what I need to do is if I'm playing, let's say I'm playing 1, 2, 3, 4, or I could play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I could subdivide it into this. I would be playing one and two and three and four and six and five and six and seven and eight and, okay? So I'm missing these two over here. That's how it's working, okay? So I'm gonna have to leave the space over there and you'll see how to do it in just a second, okay? When we go into practice mode. So what's the sequence? First, I'm gonna be using, remember, the ones I circle, we're going to be using moving bass lines, okay? The ones I circle are going to be our thumb. These three strings are assigned to the thumb, right? Oops. So those notes are going to have to be played with the thumb, just one finger. That thumb is going to move strings. And then we've got... This one with your index, and this one with your middle. So the sequence is going to be thumb middle, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. See how it's, it's starting to get complicated. You'll see once we get to the guitar, it becomes a little bit easier. And then the second part is the same as the first. So let's focus on this part now, okay? So it's... Thumb and middle, then there's going to be like a little space, and then it's thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. A lot easier now to, to understand, right? Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. That's the sequence. So it's thumb and middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. Bam, 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 okay? And then the same for the, for the next thing. Now we can go and get your guitar and practice this one. Advanced finger picking pattern numero dos is very similar to number one. If we break it up into two parts, we'll see the first part is the same as the second part. So we divide that bar by half. And we focus only on the first part. We divide that by half again, and you'll see it's the same pattern as number one. Right? But now we've got in the bar 14 notes. If we add two more notes, that makes it 16. 
which is divisible by four. So what's happening is that first thumb and, and middle are played together. They count as one note, but then we leave a space and then we start the sequence again, right? So if we would play it in 16 notes, it would be something like this. It would be like pattern number one, but doubled in time. But we're leaving a little space in between. So if we would divide it into one E and a two E and a, so we're dividing each beat into four, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, okay. After beat one, one, E is not played. One and a, so. That's what's complex about this pattern because if we divide it into equal parts and we play all the notes, it's the same as pattern one. Only doubled in time, right? but you gotta leave that space to make that cool sound and sound. So I'm gonna play it very slowly so you see how it works. Even slower. Advanced pattern number two to a metronome sounds something like this. We're getting into a lot of notes per bar now, okay? So, but we're gonna keep it slow at 50 beats per minute. That way, hopefully, it gives us time. Remember, this pattern has that E not played. So it's one, three, one, three, one. One, three, now you try it, okay? 